All right, so let me take you back a few days ago. Pfizer is caught, honestly, in a honeypot trap. Uh, somebody from Project Veritas, uh, you know, gets on the radar of this guy who is, uh, his name is Jordan Walker. He is not a nobody. This is, this. let me give you his title. He is the Pfizer Director of Research and Development. Okay. The Director of Research and Development. He is uh, Strategic Operations and mRNA Scientific Planning. So he's the top of the food chain on this. And he's out on a date. And he's talking to this guy. Now, the guy is not like, oh, really? That is so cool. You can hear him say, but is that a good idea? All right. Listen to how flippantly he talks about this and what he is saying. And this is, this is only 40 seconds out of 10 minutes that need to be heard. Okay, listen. We're exploring, like, not, you know how the virus keeps mutating? Yeah. Well, one of the things we're exploring is, like, why don't we just mutate it ourselves so we can put for, we can create undefined developed new vaccines, right? So we have to do that. If we're going to do that, though, there's a risk of, like, as you could imagine, no one wants to be having a pharma company mutating fucking viruses. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. we're like, do we want to do this? <laughs> so that's, like, one of the things we're considering. Okay. So, like, the future, like, maybe we can, like, create new versions of the vaccines and things like that. Okay, so you, Pfizer ultimately is thinking about mutating COVID? Well, that is not what we say to the public. No. That's why it was a thought that came up in a meeting, and we were like, why why do we not? It was like, we're going to consider that with more discussions. Okay. That's exactly actually, right? We're like, wait a minute. Like, people won't like that. So he's not saying they are doing it. He said they are considering it. it is one of the options. Okay. I believe that 100%. If you, again, are in a meeting and all options are on the table, what do we do to fight this? Somebody would say that. Why don't we get ahead of it? But he's like, yeah, why don't we? I mean, we still have to talk about it. No, no, no. We don't mutate viruses to be able to come up with a vaccine that will fight that virus. That's a really bad idea. Stop it. He goes on to talk about monkey testing and how it's done with monkeys and how all of this. Now, this comes out and Project Veritas, James O'Keefe, confronts him like at, I don't know, Starbucks or someplace. Uh, He's at a restaurant and James O'Keefe sits down and starts to ask him questions. What you're about to see is the director of research at one of the most powerful pharmaceutical companies out there, um, freaking out, really freaking out. Go ahead, roll it. Hey there, is this seat taken? You work for Pfizer. My question for you is why does Pfizer want to hide from the public the fact that they're mutating the COVID viruses. Is this real life? I'm literally a liar. I was trying to impress a person on a date by lying. And this please, is please, absurd. Please don't touch me. Well, this is not. Why the way? Why don't, are you doing Don't this? tell anybody. Someone who was just working at a company to literally help the public. Stop here. Why are you doing this? You're just talking to a man who is literally just trying to save lives. Okay. No, you might be trying to save lives. Mengele was trying to save lives. <laughs> I don't know. Mengele oh, was I, trying to save I lives. Understand, I understand go that. <laughs> I'm using extreme to make the point. Right. There are lines that you don't want to cross. Mengele crossed a thousand plus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is Pfizer crossing a pretty big line in saying, well, you know, maybe we should mutate it. Now, If you're also a responsible human being and you knew how much trust you had lost Mm. and you're a director of Pfizer, you're not out on a date lying about mutating viruses. That shows you have absolutely no idea how your company is being perceived, real or not. And you are just playing into everything that people are already starting to say about you. You should be fired just for that. 
I think that's true. I mean, I mean, he should definitely be fired, even if he, even if his his answer is completely true. I mean, certainly, this is it's going to surprise many women in the audience, but occasionally, men do lie on dates yeah. uh, when they're trying to sleep with the person that they're sitting Correct. across from. So it's Correct. it's not entirely. I mean, this what this is valuable for. I think is it gives us a thread to pull at, right? Yeah. What, what is really going on? Correct. And this gives us a, a direction. With, by the way, I will point out a Republican House that has investigatory, 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 investigatory yes. uh, uh, power, which is right. important, right? Um, so you, this is a way you can, you can something you can look for here. Um, it's possible he's lying. Maybe he was. It's a okay. weird way to kind of sweet talk a date. Hey, we might, we might, we might start another pandemic. Play. I mean, I don't know. And you heard the date was not like, ooh, tell me more. Right. Because I, I and, and one thing I will say about this is so hot with the monkey talk with Ver, Project Veritas. They, as far as I know, always eventually release, release the entire thing. And I, I think there's a possibility here that if in another part of the video, he's sounding super skeptical or giving some indication that would lead you to believe maybe his excuse is a little bit more valid. Like he's trying to show that side of it. Could somebody perhaps. please but note, that does please not, make note yeah. how this show always I'm trying here. gives the benefit of the doubt to, I, I to try, everybody. I want to understand. And, and look, I, do, I think your main point there is true. Would you, if you were Pfizer, want this guy working for you, even no. if what he's saying is true? I was just lying on a date to sleep with some dude. But again, not just some guy, okay? No, yeah, no. This is I, the high director level of research. Yeah, it's All bad. Right. So now he starts to go a little ballistic. You're going to see somebody absolutely lose their mind, and you tell me if this is reasonable behavior— from an officer in Pfizer. Watch. You really did. Please read the pass. As soon as possible, I'm feeling very unsafe. He said, I'm feeling very unsafe. No, no, don't let them leave. And he's asking him to lock the doors. He grabs the... He's down on his hands and knees, and he's trying to destroy this iPad. Look at him. Unlock the door. Unlock the door. Okay. Whoa. Who, who this pushed is, him at the end there? Was uh, that a, I don't know, but it was, you know, obviously It was somebody, a big altercation there. Big the altercation. Yeah. He was trying to grab stuff. He was trying to destroy things. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but uh, your iPad usually does not have all of the information <laughs> it's called, alone. It's called the cloud. It's called the cloud. <laughs> yeah, but a, uh, that guy is, was out of control. And that, you know, I... There's probably legal questions about what he did in that in that video there. I mean, you know, certainly taking someone else's property and smashing it uh, is uh, is a legal issue above and beyond whether you're going to get fired or not. So now his statement is, I'm not even a scientist. Why would anybody take me seriously? I don't know if you've checked your card, director of research. Now, there is some skepticism on that claim. Um, now, Project Veritas has released some documents that indicate that it's true. Some people who are super skeptical on Pfizer and the vaccine are pointing out there's a lot of inconsistencies in this guy's bio. And the question is whether it's actually true that he was that high of a level there. I don't know the answer to that. I don't think that's been determined yet. Then um, it, he, he should be cleaning out his desk because yesterday. His degree that, is if, in urology, I believe. I don't know. Which is, you know, again, not necessarily the person you think would be the director of COVID vaccine research. Like it doesn't it doesn't completely add up. But these are just again, what's valuable valuable about this is just like wh wh what thread are we pulling at? Where what 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 roads are we going down? If Pfizer's doing this, by the way, and the bigger problem here maybe is that this is not illegal. Remember the ban on gain of function research was a ban by the Obama administration. That stopped public funding for gain of fun function research. Didn't ban it. Didn't make it illegal. Trump lifted the ban on that funding and then put it back in after COVID happened. But that funding ban is different than saying Pfizer can't just do it. They could just do this. Now, we don't know that they're doing it. We don't know. He kind of says this might happen in the future. Uh, but... This is a bigger problem. And we need to any, stop companies from even doing this. If anyone thinks that's not happening, you're you're 
you're living in a dream world. Well, it, it's legal. We know I it's know happening. That. I know that. That's a huge but problem. But they have denied it with uh, EcoHealth and everything right. else. And EcoHealth, we now know our government was paying for research uh, that EcoHealth was doing in Wuhan, which was... Uh, the uh, gain of function research. We know it now. We know it. There's proof positive of it. Everything we said is true. Now, we had the documents, but nobody paid attention to it a year or a year and a half ago, whenever we did that special on COVID. We had the documents on EcoHealth. Our government is funding it, and we know it. And we also know that more money has gone to EcoHealth since COVID came out from Fauci. So it's going on. This has got to stop. It's got to stop. We, uh, we are going to wipe humanity out. I, I swear to you, I feel like, you know, the seed vault up in what, Norway or Sweden or yeah. up at the top of the world. I feel like we should just freeze some humans and put them in the seed vault because of all the <laughs> things that we're doing, man, uh, well, it's not I, good. Can I pick the humans? <laughs> can I be in? <laughs> Just freeze me, please. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go.